Hey everyone, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. So, as most of you guys know, this is the final countdown to Streamliner Fest this week in Spencer, North Carolina. And, as part of that ramping up, I've decided that I'm going to take a couple of locomotives with me to do photographs with their prototypes. Some of you may recall NS4271 from my last blog video. This is the version of the 4271, which is a safety award for the Pocahontas division. Um, I'm, I will be taking this engine along with me to photograph with the real NS4271. However, the highlight of the locomotives that I'm taking with me is what's being pushed by 4271 right now. Over the course of this past week, I've really been working my butt off to get a certain locomotive out of the paint shop before the event. And that is this engine right here, Nickel Plate Road Alco PA number 190. Um, I found this at Train Master Models over the weekend. Um, this is just an Atherin Blue Box PA. And I made the decision, kind of spur of the moment, but I made the decision that I really wanted to have a model of the 190 to take with me because out of all the diesels it's going to be at Streamliner Fest, this one is by far my favorite. Because it's the only Alco PA left in the United States, at least in terms of operational. And knowing that it was going to be there, I decided to take the opportunity in my hands to make myself a custom model of the 190. Nickel Plate 190 has probably been one of the fastest locomotive custom jobs I have ever achieved. And amazingly, for it to be done in just a week, it came out pretty good in my opinion. It's a little rough around the edges in some areas. I'm trying to mask off this area here for the paint was a little bit of a pain in the butt because I had to keep going to prototype photos for references constantly on this but as you can see it turned out pretty nice for what I was able to produce and the decals just came in yesterday and I was able to finish it this evening so I just got the clear coat on it and what I'm gonna do now is go back in time a little bit and show you what all I have done on this engine to get it ready for Streamliner Fest I've got the white applied at this point and the truck frames are removed and now I'm just getting ready to tape it up and get it ready for the first coat of dark blue. Got most of the striping on now. I just got to work on that little area behind the door. So here she is now with the blue on, finished up the rest of the taping and hit her with a nice coat of this rather interesting metallic blue that I found over at the Home Depot so it'll shine a lot more. So I'm going to give it a little while to dry, hit it with another coat, and then we'll pull the tape off and see what she looks like. And there's 190 with the paint fully applied. Going to do a little bit of touch up work on some of the areas that need it. Some, there was a little bit of bleed through on some areas. And once that's finished, it'll be time to hit it with a gloss coat, and we'll be moving on to decals. Whilst I've got the shell off for touching the paint up, I went ahead and uh, painted the bottom of the frame, uh, specifically the sides of the fuel tank and the underside, uh, just so they would be the same color as the body. So not too much, just took it outside, took the trucks off, and just hit it with that. I made sure to uh, leave this area here open so that way if I ever decide to put a motor in this thing the electrical pickup will still make and there we go there's 190 with the full set of decals applied I'm gonna wait for the microsol to dry and uh, once that's done I will move on to the clear coat to seal these in and she's ready for Streamliner Fest. And so that pretty much wraps up this video. Just wanted to show this engine off quickly before we went to North Carolina. 
Um, if any of you guys are going to be there, um, feel free to send me a message on here. And also, another way you can view my page is I just formed a Ravenhawk 6910 uh, Facebook page. Um, I'll have the link in the description of this video. So you can follow me on Facebook and keep a, keep up to date with projects like the 190 and the office car train and any other things that I'm working on at the moment. So go ahead and give that page a like and hopefully I'll be seeing some of you guys in Spencer on Friday. Um, I'm going to be there Friday and Saturday and I'll also be at the Friday night shoot as well. And also, for those of you that don't know, Trains Magazine will be doing a live streaming of Streamliner Fest, so if you guys aren't able to make it, be sure to uh, check out trainsmagazine.com and uh, check out that webcam video so you can keep up with the Streamliner Fest while it's happening in real time. So, with that being said, it's time to hit the road, and I'll see you guys in North Carolina. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.